Hi hi, it's me, Duravi here, and today this is something I'm uh, kind of doing on Impulse. This is one of the... it's not the first reflection I have, that was, um, that was Lonely Onids, and, but it's among the first and Baby's first Mercury one. I did finally manage to awaken it. But uh, it was around this time where Vulture starts being very, very prominent when he used to be a, a get-off-my-tablet kind of character. And that goes for Mercury, too. It's like, get-off-my-tablet, but it's a bit different. This is his initial form, by the way. Those of you wondering. So, and this was one of the few that I did bother to read. I usually don't bother. This is really nice looking, by the way. Huh. So here we go. Let's see, this involves a character that I'm still wondering about. <laughs> and, uh, so anyway, let's go, shall we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is different from what I remember, but it's cool. And I actually pictured Orlando, <laughs> of all people, but but now that I've seen this one, I now picture a character named Mike Ehrmantraut. Yeah, from a Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, and, and I feel like they're very similar characters, and you'll see why. Now, this one would be like the Jesse Pinkman but Landon. I first read that as Lando. So well, that's kind of why I did what I did, but Joe, I picture someone younger, like like a Jesse Pinkman type. It's <laughs> so like I said, Mike Ehrmantraut. This is exactly what he would say and act. Which I imagine is pretty frustrating, but you can, uh, like, find out. Like, if there's someone who questions everything, you will find out. But but in some cases, it's like, eh, just do your job. It's not your job to figure out who's naughty or nice. <laughs> quit your and it used to say shut your yap, but now it's like quit your yapping but whatever. Some kind of story. So he already suspected something was up. He used to say a thin voice, but now it's a low and creepy voice, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it looks to me like they are now trying to make it very clear that Vulture and Scorpion Fish are very different people. At least that's how I see it. I'll explain shortly. Oh, man.
When I first saw this, I thought it was Chin Yi. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's like a thin man. Yeah, so that could be a lot of people. Yeah. So now I'm sitting here wondering, like, the logistics of this. Like, how is this working? But anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, like, that's because, like, in my head, Canon, like, Scorpion Fish is quite the expert at this, so. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, like, how. Like, you're kidding me, right? Like, how does he manage that? Hey. Yeah, so you notice here, like, he's no longer... Like, he's no longer described as having curly hair. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thin eyes, huh? Yeah, like, the curly hair is no longer mentioned here. Oh, it says, well, shit, I was wrong. <laughs> you see, again, it says curly hair, and so I thought, well, Chin Yi didn't have curly hair. It'd be interesting if this was Chin Yi. And then, like, but my first thought was it's Vulture, but then I'm like, how would that work, though? I was like, how, what? <laughs> it's like, because if this took place, like, very close to the actual auction, then how do you explain Vulture in Chapter 7? So then I started thinking, well, these are two different characters. Yeah, because I know Vulture can look insane, like he's, but something like this, like, I can't imagine him doing it this way. So that's why I kept so... Like I said, I do feel like, like, well, uh, Scorpion Fish, yeah. I do feel like they were two different characters. Like, it is explained that Scorpion Fish has a power that Vulture doesn't have. And plus, there are some things here that said that I can't imagine Vulture saying. Yeah, but the certain someone got him out. Yeah, that's not his actual power, though. Oh dear. Oh, that sucks. That's probably how Ermin Trout felt. That's how he feels. Yeah, I see, this is where I think Vulture is involved, but he's not Scorpion Fish. You know, Vulture does, like, exploding thingies. I wrote all about it. Yeah, I don't know what was going on here. I personally felt like it was Locke more than anything. That's why I wrote this scene the way I did. Hmm. 
Hey, I, I'm in my head canon, like, I don't picture Mercury in that suit, but in black. Like, what you see in Nightmist Aria, that's what I picture him wearing. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, what? I think it's trying to say, like, yeah, I don't think Scorpion Fish says this. I think that's just a narrative, but whatever. You see, that's the thing. I can't imagine Vulture ever in a million years saying this, like, ever. Unless, like, yeah, unless it was, like, a reflection thing, possibly, but I, I doubt it. So, and then, like, in my head, can I, like, Vulture is present. He's just um, elsewhere. And he gets really angry here. Nah, because you don't talk to Mercury like that. You just don't. Yeah, he's probably used to it. <laughs> and manuscripts, yeah, because there's two of them, I believe. There's a, they're in halves, but whatever. No, it's different though, like Scorpion Fish, at least according to the Shining Nikki Discord, he can make you insane and kill yourself. Like just really some eldritch powers, it's much different from what Mercury and Vulture have. Not necessarily, but whatever, we keep going. What meant staring at someone? Yeah, okay. Well, I guess the supernatural powers is what he's referring to. So he's a bit unconscious here, but uh, well, it's all over now, huh? Well, just as long as you're not a boot look, it's cool. Well, you've already been doing that, but whatever.
Oh, that sounds very gay. <laughs> yeah, that's not though. That whatever. Well, and then here. I see again, like, it's like, who, what, where, when, why? Oh. Yeah, so his plan, I think, was not only to pick up the manuscript, but get scorpion fish. For what, though? Who knows? Yeah, sounds about right. So at this point, if Scorpion Fish is dead, then how are you going to get information? I don't think he is. Uh. Well, it wasn't obvious to you at the time, but I guess what you put two and two together, it is. Well, yeah. Yep. Nice, that's one of those, like, hindsight's 2020. Well, Scorpion Fish still took a life, and he still. He was still capable of that Cthulhu glare that kills people, so, uh. Yeah, well, some of them are meant to be broken. Oh, well, see, that problem is solved by not having any fate. There is no fate. Listen to that real good Scooter song. There's no fate. Which he did, yeah, I'd say that's pretty impressive. What is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so the auction, so I suspect that this one took place a bit later. Because, again, if all this happened on the night of the auction, then how do you explain Vulture? Yeah, like, yeah, it's in so... Uh, I just feel like it was before, and then this flash forwards, and I don't... <laughs> Insecure. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Because a certain someone who is possessed is around. And she must be taken, right? Then Mercury will have it all, right? Yeah, so he was the attendant. Mm hmm. Yeah, hello. Yeah, that's the uh, possessed Nikki. Yeah, she knows, like, that's not me. I mean, it's not, dear, you were possessed. It's all good. You wait, let me see. Mm -hmm. And she's, the only thing is that during Lawden's night, like, she was working with Zoe. So, like, where were they when she was possessed? Uh, I think, like, the the, law, the auction actually went on for a few days. Like, the actual incident with Scorpion Fish, like, to me, was, like, months before, if not, like, a year tops. And then, then the auction was, like, three days, something like that. 
<sighs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, she's the target. That certainly would explain quite a bit. Yep. Yeah, I did get Zoe's too, but I'll deal with that later. So. Yeah, but I think, like. Yeah, me too. Let's get our stamina. Because we totally need stamina. We always do. But I do. So yeah, like, I think like in the auction, like our meow meow was not actually present in the first couple days, because he was off. And then the final day, like when Nikki was uh, possessed, like that's when Vulture was present. At least that's how I see it. That's just me though. I don't know about anyone else. What do you think? Because I don't know. I just have head cannon. But the theory remains that Scorpionfish is someone very different, and then he just kind of vanishes into nothingness, and he's not ever mentioned again. So much for that. So, that'll do for now. See you later. Goodbye.